All right, switching over to the other side of the argument, here we have the uh, position against Laetrile, or the position in favor of making Laetrile illegal. Uh, how do we construct that argument uh, in moral terms, uh, leading to the conclusion that the right thing to do, or the proper thing to do, is for the government to use its power to ban this from the product, from the market, so to speak. And again, we uh, identify each of the parties. We'll start with the cancer patients. And what this side will play up is uh, a couple of points about cancer patients. One is that we are dealing with a high-tech, innovative product. Uh, we have a new pharmaceutical, and the average cancer patient is not an expert in medicine. And so this person uh, who might think that he or she wants to take Laetrile is not making an informed opinion because they do not have the relative expertise. And so the first thing that this side will emphasize is that we are dealing with parties that are relatively uninformed. That is to say, they are more likely to make a bad decision on medical grounds given their lack of expertise. Now, of course, they can do some reading and get some information and so forth, but that's no substitute for actual medical expertise on a very complicated issue like this. The other point that is going to be made here is that cancer patients are not only in a, a cognitively disadvantaged position, but they also are in a, an emotionally right, disadvantaged position. That is to say, you hear that you have cancer that is enormously distressful, you're facing the end of your life, uh, you become desperate, and your emotional uh, vulnerability puts you in a position to not be making good uh, medical judgments as well. And so what we have here is patients who are emotionally right, desperate. And so for both reasons, right, we have parties uh, that are cognitively and emotionally not in a position to make good medical decisions. So that is to say that we have a patients, uh, to put it in uh, moderately technical terms, who have diminished capacity, so to speak. And that while the other side is arguing for a fairly robust sense of self-responsibility, this side is going to emphasize the, uh, the, the relatively lesser capacity for cancer patients to exercise that full self-responsibility. So what we then also do is uh, turn to the other side, or the other party uh, directly involved here. In this case, we consider the Laetril manufacturer. And if we're in favor of uh, banning Laetril, then we have to say something about the status of the Laetril manufacturer to make us uh, override uh, their ability to put a product out. And in this case, what we will emphasize is that they are, in the first place, motivated by money, but it's a profit motive that's not a legitimate motivation. So what we will say is we have a pharmaceutical company that is greedy. They're just grasping, they just wanna make money any way that they particularly can. They also uh, might make claims to uh, be interested in health benefits and so forth, but really they're not particularly caring about the health of their patients, they just want to make money, and they uh, perceive an opportunity here. They say there's a significant number of cancer patients out there who've got some money and they're desperate, maybe we can make a buck off of them. And so they uh, just perceive right, a, a, an opportunity, an opportunity to take advantage of people to put a product out there that probably doesn't work and uh, make a buck off of them. So what this side of the argument is going to play up is that we have two parties and this party is relatively weaker. Right? It's cognitively uninformed. It doesn't have the knowledge. It is emotionally desperate and it wants to do almost anything. Uh, and so it has this uh, diminished capacity. So we're playing up the weakness of cancer patients. And here we have a party that is relatively stronger, right? They've got money, they've got uh, supposed experts who can make all kinds of claims, they've got a marketing budget and an advertising budget to make their product appealing, and they've got a vulnerable uh, 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 target market that they can potentially take advantage of. So this side of the argument will say if we have a weaker party in a transaction with a stronger party, and we have a free market, that is to say we let them uh, transact with each other if they so choose. Yeah, there are going to be various kinds of uh, transactions that will go on. These guys will put the product out. A significant number of these guys will purchase them. But those transactions are going to lead to 
a lose for the cancer patients. They're going to spend their money on something that doesn't work. Uh, they're going to miss out on the opportunities of more conventional cancer treatments and so forth. And so they will be uh, in a lose position and by contrast, the Laetrile manufacturer will be in a win position. They will profit and they will be profiting at the expense of the cancer patients over here. So what we have, morally speaking, is an, uh, uh, <clears throat> a set of activities that we characterize by predation. We will say the greedy pharmaceutical company is exploiting the relatively vulnerable patients, right? Or it's taking advantage of in some predatory form. All right, now, if uh, this is a bad result, right? Uh, if we judge this to be an inappropriate thing, then obviously we're going to need a more powerful force able to override the free market to stop this predation from occurring. And so this side of the argument will then say this is where clearly we need to involve the government. And the government's job can't be to protect individuals' rights in the sense that this side is arguing over here. Instead, this side is going to argue for a more paternalistic role of government. The government needs to intervene to override the free market on paternalistic grounds. That <clears throat> just as in the case, for example, of a, a, a father, right, or a mother, right, who will uh, step in to protect their child from a bully, right, who is uh, taking advantage of him or her. And so one element of paternalism that's operative here, or operative here is to protect the uh, weaker parties, in this case the cancer patient, right, from the stronger, because we think that left to the left alone, that's what's going to happen. But there's another element of paternalism that's worth highlighting here, that the cancer patients uh, in a free market aren't objecting right to the Laetrile manufacturer. In fact, they, in many cases, are insisting that they be able to purchase Laetrile, but we, the government, don't think that that is a very good decision. And so another element of paternalism is to protect the weaker from themselves. These guys are making what we judge to be a bad medical decision on their behalf, and so on their behalf, we will make a better decision from that for them, or at least stop them from making a bad decision. And so we need to add and from themselves. Just as in many cases, your father will not leave a decision to you when you're a child, or the same thing, a mother won't leave certain decisions to the children just because children need to be protected from themselves, right? They are short range in their uh, emotional thinking, they don't know enough, they have diminished capacity, and so a wiser a paternal figure needs to make the decision on their behalf. So what we then do is say, if the free market is going to yield these lose-win predatory results, and we believe that the government should use its power in a paternalistic fashion, that leads to a particular regulation that what should occur in this case here is the government should use its power uh, to ban Laetrile. And the flip side of that also holds that it would be irresponsible of the government to leave it legal or to, uh, to, to legalize it. It would not be acting paternalistically appropriately if it left this product that it didn't believe work on the market. And so it has the moral justification to use its political power to ban Laetrile.